In this video, I'll show you how to draw the candy store on Main Street. This store is a square, but if you're drawing the whole of Main Street inkwell, you might like to make yourself a square thing like this so that all your stores will be the same size so you can stick them all together and make a great big Main Street. You can also work out where the centers are and that will make it much easier for you. So I'll draw a line across. Oop there like that and one down there. Draw in pencil very, very gently so you can erase it later. Now, in fact, I'm gonna draw a line across there and a line down about there too, about there. So first of all, I'm going to draw all the way around the outside. If you go to my Patreon page, you can download a PDF with black and white and color versions of all the stores in my Main Street drawing videos. And then just above the midway line, I'm gonna draw a line across like that. So you can see that line there, I'm gonna draw lots of lines coming down. So this is gonna be like a canopy, a striped awning canopy that comes down over the front window and the door and gives it that kind of candy stripe look. <laughs> That's where the word candy stripe comes from. Like that. And then we want nice little loops at the end. Now here we're going to draw, these are like the side walls which are holding the whole place up and draw two little bits across there at the bottom. And one, two, three, one, two, three. It's just to make it look prettier, really, I think. One, two, three, four. To put these little bits in here, it's just add some shape and personality to the place. Now this is going to be where the door is in here. So we want to get a kind of a door shaped size like that. And then that's going to be the door frame. It's going to be the step at the bottom. We're going to think that the door is actually coming about there. So now we're going to want to draw little windows. That's four. How many are we going to have? Like that. And I think that's probably enough because we need to fit a uh, door handle and a key <laughs> lock and we'll have a letterbox down at the bottom like that and then here we can draw a window sill so that's going to come across to about there so the leave a gap the same distance up and go across like that and then that can go up that can go up and then you can come down if you want and come down and then I'm going to draw these patterns like that so they're like bricks or something like that holding up the window and then we're also going to want to have the window frame and that's going to go up in and underneath the canopy there let's put some candy in the front so we can do this quite loose. I'm going to do one, two, three, four. So these are going to be jars, candy jars in the window. And I'm going to draw the, ooh, that doesn't quite fit, does it? So I'm going to draw the labels on the front and you can see all the candy inside. And I'm just gonna put blah, 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 blah. But if you want to, you can write all your favorite candies in there. And then we want the same up here. One, two, three, four. And then it wants to come out and around, out and around like that. I think that's what you want to see in a proper old fashioned candy store, isn't it? See all these <laughs> big jars stuffed full. <laughs> I just remember as a kid getting really worried. My favorite was peanut brittle, which is like peanuts in hard toffee. And and I was always worried because there, there would hardly be any left because I think there's somebody else really liked it. And they would 
buy lots of it. I was wor always worried there wouldn't be enough left. Now here we're going to go there and like that. And we want to write candy. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to draw quite so high as that. And I'm going to do C and a big space in between. Big space in between. Big space in between and a big space in between. We can make that a bit wider actually and a bit more like that because we're going to do bubble writing here. And we're going to go all the way around that line like that. Okay, and then let's come down the side of that A and around and up and across, down, around and up. I went a bit wobbly there. <laughs> That just makes it look more interesting. Down and around, down and around and up and around and join up. So it's following around the lines that you've drawn for the simple letter. And that will give you this really good kind of bubble writing like that. All the way around like that. And then what we can do is put a little bit of clever shading in on these sort of lower parts like that. That that wants to be that side I think. <laughs> you can get a bit confusing and that helps to solve that little mistake I made there. Bring that down there and in there. So this will make it look a little bit 3D won't it like that. And you can also put some little circles in there to make it look shiny. Oh, I love doing lettering like that. And now comes the fun part, okay? So we're going to put giant lollipops up here. Lollipops? We call them lollipops. And you call them popsicles? I don't know. There's people have different names of things all around the world. One, two, uh, one, two. And then we want a curve there and a curve because there's one behind. Another one there, because there's one behind. And the same again. And let's put the sticks in like that. And there. We can have that on the other side, can't we? Like that. And then we're going to do a spiral pattern. So I'm going to do this a few times. So watch what I do. And if you get stuck, you can always stop and start again anytime you like. So that's where I'm going to finish. So I'm going to come in around on the inside like that. And when I come to that point there, I'm going to stop. And I'm going to come around into a spiral. One, two, three, like that. And then come back again. So here we want the outside bits like that. And we just need to see that spirally bit like that. Start here, come all the way around the outside, stop, come back, one, two, three, around, and back. And there we just do the top bit and the bottom bit, and we want to see a bit of a, a kind of a blob like that. Here we come around the outside, stop, one, two, three, blob, and then come back and join there. Okay, and then we'll do those bits and we'll bring that around so that it kind of joins up like that. And this is the final one. One, two, three. One, two, three, blob and come back around like that. Good. <laughs> and then I think we'll just put some random bits of candy in there where you can just to sort of fill it up and make it look more exciting and interest probably in all those little dips is where we want them and in the corners and in those extra little places like that and you can fit a bigger bit in there and a smaller bit there maybe a bit in there and a bit in there and I think maybe a piece in there and we can color those all different candy colors and make it look fantastic now, when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry, then you can erase those pencil lines. 
And look, it all starts to look fantastic. And people will go, how did you do that so neatly? And you'll go, hmm, 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 hmm. And that's how we do that. And um, we want to make this look a bit like glass, don't we? So do these lines. You don't need much. And we can do bits in there as well. I'm going to make that look like there's a little fan light up above there. There, and we do a couple of lines coming through there like that. Then all you need to do is colour it in and subscribe to Draw Stuff Real Easy so you can draw the rest of Main Street Inkwell. Thanks for watching. Bye.